Hello YouTubers and LEGO fans and welcome to another LEGO Star Wars review. So here we have The Phantom and this is set 75048. As you can see this is for ages 7 to 12. This comes with a piece count of 234 pieces. This retails here in the United Kingdom for £19.99. That's from the Lego store or the Lego store online. I believe this will retail in the United States when it is released for $24.99. Obviously that's yet to be 100% confirmed but I believe what's what the price point will be. Okay, so this comes with one instruction manual one set of instructions you can see here some of the sets from the summer 2014 wave there inventory we have a total of 60 pages of build okay guys so let's take our first look at this set now so there we go, as our first look at the Phantom. As you can see, this comes with two minifigures. Um, we have C110P, um, also known as Chopper. Um, and we have Ezra Bridger. Okay, Lego fans, so uh, let's have a closer look at those two minifigures right now. Okay, so first up we have Ezra Bridger, as we can see here. So you can see there he comes with the black hair piece. Um, he also comes with this really awesome looking helmet, which you can see to the side there. So then we can have a look at that um, pretty cool print in there to the front of obviously that torso um, and obviously going down into the legs. And some print in there to the rear of the torso. And you can see there he comes with the blaster pistol. Back round to the front with the hairpiece now removed and he does have a double sided face. And finally wearing that awesome looking helmet. Okay, so next up we have the C110P chopper unit. Okay, so a bit of a closer look now of some of that print in detail. So that's our two figures now. Um, reviewed. Let's take a close look at the Phantom itself. Okay, so there we go. There is the Phantom. Um, so I'm going to give you a 360 view of this. Before I do that, I just do want to point out this does not stay in this position particularly easily. Um, so I'm just going to put a light, little bit of pressure on there, and as you can see, um, it collapses down to the ground. So if you wanted to display it like that, it is more difficult than it looks <clears throat> you can get it there but trust me the slightest bit of pressure and it will go um, but anyway let's just have a quick spin round of this
Okay, so now pointing out some of the features um, on the set. We'll see around the main cabin compartment at the front here. Um, we can see these laser cannons at the front of the Phantom itself. Um, there are a number of stickers on this set, so we'll see there's one down here um, at the side. We just move down to the side detailing here. This is a strip here of stickers. That's all on one strip, so that's on a tile piece. We'll see there some of that rear detailing around the engine compartment or the exhausts. You can see there. So just while we're on the rear of the Phantom here. This piece here opens up. This is a storage compartment. We can just get that open there. And there we can see that storage compartment now. So that is used for putting in either the helmet or obviously the hairpiece, um, depending on how you wish him to be when he's in the cockpit. So I'm just going to put the helmet and the uh, blaster pistol in there. As you can see there, collapsing again. So that is probably something that is a little bit annoying and frustrating about this set. There we go, because I prefer it to be in this position. I'll show you the alternative position in a second. And it really doesn't stay there. So put it down gently. Um, so there's that compartment again closed up. Around to the other side is obviously um, going to be identical to the other side. Again, we have that sticker going down the side there and then the other sticker at the front. Um, at the top here, you can see there is a, a spring-loaded missile. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, other thing to point out there, there is also a sticker here on the top. Okay, so now into, in fact, if we show you round the side now, so these wing wings here are on hinge pieces. I'll put it around to the angle there, you can see that moving up. So what this does, we can put it up into that position and then this piece here is also on a hinge piece, so push that round like so. And it really moulds to the shape of the Phantom then. Um, and again around that side, push up and in. Um, and so then the Phantom is now in the formation and position that you see there now. Okay, so into the cockpit area. You can see here, this is a printed, this is all printed on the um, cockpit um, hatch itself. So that obviously just opens up. Put it right the way back. Okay, and then into the actual copper area itself. There is quite a bit of room in there actually, obviously to fit Ezra in there. And um, we can see there the control panel, um, and that is a sticker there that makes up that control panel. Okay, and then we can just simply take uh, Ezra into the seat in position so in this one he goes at an angle something like that so we just place him inside now you can see there obviously the studs and that's obviously where the rear of his legs are going to fix in place there so let's just get him pushed in okay so there we can see him now in position obviously inside that cockpit and then simply just put the um, hatch obviously back down. So we're just going to now show you the spring loaded missile actually firing for those of you who aren't aware of these it's just a spring mechanism inside this brick um, little sort of a uh, latching mechanism in there and you just simply press it down gently and it will fire out so I'm just going to do that right now and absolute bullseye shot there. Pretty cool. 
Okay, finally just going back to the Phantom at the top here where we have the spring-loaded missile. This piece does actually um, actually lift off and the easiest way to do that is open that hatch up um, again and you can take the whole roof off um, like so. so. Again, that's obviously where I showed you you put the helmet and um, pistol. So in here, uh, there is an area here. So this is where C110P chopper goes. We just simply place him down there, he just drops in like so. Simply in the top. And drops into position. So there we can see him now sitting inside. Um, and then again, you can see here uh, how this obviously just fits on there, that roof piece. Just place that in position as simply as that. Open that rear hatch, put that pistol back in. And close it like so. Okay, finally, the other cool feature of this set, um, which requires you to buy um, the Ghost, which is set 75053. Um, this can actually dock um, into the Ghost itself. Um, so it actually attaches to it. I have the Ghost, so once I've got that um, built, I will show you the Phantom docking um, into the Ghost and what that actually looks like. Okay guys, there we go, that's my review of the Phantom Complete, set 75048. Um, let me know what you think of this and indeed this wave of LEGO Star Wars sets for summer 2014. Um, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. As always, leave any other comments, feedback, questions down in that comments section. And if you haven't done so already, please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Cheers!